Hey everybody, I'm Aaron from ModernIntel.ca and today we're going to be reviewing the X7 Phenom electronic version. There's also a mechanical that's a little cheaper and it doesn't have the auto uh, grip to shoot auto, of course. So to start off, materials are what it's made out of. Uh, the whole front re uh, rear receiver is all aluminum. The front is plastic, the front shroud. This comes off. Uh, this magazine is plastic. The grip is plastic. The ASA is metal. And the rear butt cover is plastic as well. Uh, it comes with these nice little uh, sights. If you want to use the sights, you probably won't, but they're there. Uh, the new Cyclone has squishy paddles. They're a little softer, so they don't uh, kind of cut all your paintballs up and turn into like a blender in there. Uh, the trigger is like the TPX trigger, so it's aluminum. Feels good. Looks It looks better on this marker than it does on the TPX. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It, it actually is heavier than you'd expect from like uh, a marker this size. When you look at it, it's like, ah, that's not that heavy. But when you pick it up, it's it's heavier. But it, it doesn't bog you down. It's it's fine. The weight's perfectly fine. It's just, it's deceiving. Uh, it's a very nice marker. Uh, overall, in our field test, you saw we got a new helmet camera on. That was a lot of fun. This marker right out of the box, this thing is a blast. Uh, to start off, you don't even need a uh, nine volt in here. Uh, to change the nine volts, you just pop it in there. Very easy access. But you don't even need one, like you can go buy this marker right out of the box and all you need is a tank, you can use CO2 or HPA, use HPA though, and you can put it in a single shot and you're good to go. Now one thing about what we always say is we don't like batteries, but you know what, this is the gun, this is the marker that has proven that like you can do batteries properly in a paintball marker, and the reason is how you do it is that there's no power on switches, there's nothing like that, you have safety, single shot, and then full auto. The only time that the grip turns on and it starts using batteries is when you turn it into full auto mode. So you can go from single, single shot, no batteries, then you turn on the, the auto and you can actually probably see the LED blinking there. If you can't, it's blinking and it turns on there. And to turn off the grip, you just switch it back to single shot or safety and it's back, back into uh, single shots and safeties without any battery. It turns it off by itself. No Allen keys, awesome. And if you run out of batteries in full auto, you just switch it over to single shot and you're still in the game. Where if you're using a TM7 or TAM15, you're screwed. So that's the way to do batteries. That's awesome. Cyclone works right out of the box perfectly. It keeps up with the full auto, full auto on this marker, which is awesome. Like some markers, you have to you get like a gun like the TM15, and it can shoot 15 balls per second or something. But you need to buy a hopper on top of that. This has already got everything you need except for the tank and the mask. Uh, so that's great. Now the style of it, it's it's cool looking, but this mag, I don't get the point of this. It's like cheap play school plastic crap, and it's based on like the design. They actually made an aluminum mag wheel for it. I don't get the point of this. Like at least with the TM series. They had the mag that you could open up and put a battery in there. This is useless though. I don't get the point of that. Uh, overall, it's a very nice marker. Uh, consistent, reliable, right out of the box. It's a, just a blast of shooting. Chrono, you can get like consistent shots over and over again. It's beautiful. Loving this marker. Uh, the one, one complaint I would have is the three safety shots to go into full auto. I do not like that. Learn how to use a marker before you go into auto guns and then we can start getting right into auto without have these, having these safety shots. Uh, honestly, this, this gun's just a lot of fun. So for my final verdict, I'll give it a 9.7. Small, small, small points off. Three round safety shots. I don't like that. Get rid of that crap. Learn how to use your markers. And second, mark off this stupid plastic junk. What is this? Like seriously, it's a toy. Overall, marker's beautiful, loving thing, this thing. You can take off the shroud if you want to style it differently. X7 original parts are easy to change on and off. Pretty much all of them work together. Reliable, consistent. Go buy one of these, pick up an HPA tank uh, mask, and go out on the game and play. Full auto if you even wanted to. And you don't have to worry about batteries. That's it. Great job by Tittman, X7 Phenom Electronic. Thanks a lot, guys.